Are you what I call a digital maven? Are you a digital maven? Now you say, you say, Dr. Fredenberg, what is a digital maven? A digital maven is someone that can learn, communicate, and build quality relationships through various platforms and learning digital environments. I'm going to say it again. A digital maven is someone that can learn, that can communicate, that can build quality relationships through various digital platforms and virtual learning environments. I use the concept a digital maven. And you're saying, well, Dr. Fredenberg, why is this so important? Well, this is so important is because everything is digital. Um, everything that we do is digital. We're, we're, we're virtual, but it's not just from Zoom accounts. It's not just from WebEx. It's not just from other uh, learning platforms that you're going to use in different classes as you uh, journey and you progress as a virtual college student. But there's also social media platforms. There's also other uh, digital platforms that you have to become accustomed to, that you have to be able to embrace and that you have to be knowledgeable of in order to thrive and succeed as what I call a virtual college student. In essence, I found that one of the keys to success is not only having quality Wi-Fi, not only using the right digital platforms, but more importantly, it's learning how to learn, to communicate, and I wanna pivot right here, and build quality, impactful, and strong relationships digitally. Say, what do you mean? What I mean is, can you build a quality, powerful, and strong relationship with someone you never actually met in person? I know, I know people have done it, and I know there's a dating apps out there, but that's something you have to perfect. And the reason you got to perfect it is because everything is digital, but more importantly, your success will be connected to your ability to network, to build relationships, and to be involved in a virtual environment, not just within your campus community, but ultimately all across the world. And, uh, and, and one of the reasons I think this is so important, I think I wanna share this with you because there was actually a, a quote and it said, as a distance learner, it's important to have a strong online presence, watch this, and to put your best foot forward. Um, in essence, if you're going to be an effective digital learner, if you're going to be effective as a virtual student, you got you got to learn how to create a strong online presence. You got to learn how to communicate. You got to learn how to connect. But in addition to that, I love to share this study with students as well, because, again, remember, the reason you're going to school, I hope, is not just to get a job, but ultimately to get a career that enables you to make an impact. And they say that 85 percent of job placement is because of personal connections. And in a virtual space, you're not gonna be able to go to networking events, you're not gonna be able to go to conferences for a while, but there are virtual conferences, hey guys, like this right here, there are virtual chat sessions, there's virtual Facebook groups, there's LinkedIn, and there's a variety of other ways that you can engage and build those relationships through the digital or the virtual environment. And this is critical. Do you understand uh, the digital manners? <laughs> I like to always say, do you understand how to reach out digitally? Do you understand how to do a follow-up email? Do you understand how to set up a Zoom informational meeting? Do you understand how to maybe uh, connect with people through, uh, obviously through GroupMe or, or these other platforms that people use? There's a variety of platforms that people are using that you can get connected to as a digital maven that will enable you to be more effective. Now, again, many of you are probably well connected and I understand that, but from a professional stance, from an academic perspective, are you prepared to be effective digitally as well? Because that's a whole nother ball game. That deals with doing group projects with people that you've never met.
That deals with connecting with professors that you've never met in person. That deals with understanding how to go on to LinkedIn and how to research different people from various industries and not only connect with them, but to build your LinkedIn profile, to build a profile to such a level that people want to engage with you, that people want to connect with you, hear this, that people may even want to hire you. Because again, as I want to often say, it's not just about maximizing your collegiate experience, it's about positioning yourself for career success. And part of positioning yourself for career success is not only learning how to study virtually, but it's creating what I call an effective digital brain. And I got a story I wanna share with you. This is me, as you saw earlier, this is me where I'm getting my doctoral degree from Nova Southeastern University. As I told you earlier, I was a virtual college student. But uh, truth be told, I would not have been in this position if I was not a digital maven. And that says I learned really quickly that if I was going to be effective as a virtual student, I had to learn different platforms. I had to learn how to do different things. But more importantly, I had to learn how to build effective relationships. And two of my relationships that I was able to create was this woman on the left. And she's actually a doctoral student in my program. She actually graduated one year before me. And we had a class together and we never met each other in person, but we knew each other just through class assignments and we connected and we built a relationship and now we're friends on Facebook. And this woman was so instrumental in my life because I learned what professors to get, what professors not to get. I learned how to deal with certain assignments that I really couldn't understand at certain moments in my doctoral journey. But most importantly, when it came to the dissertation, which was a long process for me, it was this woman that was there to be my friend, to be the person that was there to support and enable me to thrive and succeed and ultimately complete my dissertation. And then on the other side, there's a Facebook group that I was a part of and it's, it's really geared towards people that are getting their dissertation. And I remember I came to a point where I was trying to figure out how I was gonna transcribe the interviews that I had to do in order to obtain my doctoral degree. And in this process, I was like, what do I do, what do I do? I went into the Facebook group and I posted the question. And I'm telling you within, within 30 minutes to an hour, I had all these suggestions of what I can do. And immediately I took the best advice. I was able to do the interviews. I was able to transcribe everything. And I was able to use that information and use that wisdom ultimately to complete my dissertation and to obtain my doctoral degree. In essence, if I did not learn how to be a digital maven, if I did not learn how to connect with people, how to build relationships, how to deal with different virtual platforms from a learning environment, there's a good chance that I would have never, ever attained my doctoral degree in organizational leadership. And so how can I be a better digital maven? Well, I'm glad you asked. The first thing you want to do is you want to learn multiple platforms. You want to begin to figure out what are the different platforms that I need to be involved with, that I need to be connected to? Again, uh, there's different learning platforms. There may be Blackboard, there may be WebEx, there may be Zoom. Uh, but in addition to that, are you a part of LinkedIn? Are you a part of uh, different Facebook groups that are aligned with what you're trying to do? Um, are, you, are, you, are you a part of different group meetings where you can c cultivate relationships, where you can connect with people? Are you attending other virtual programs where you can, you can uh, build relationships and connect? These are questions you want to ask yourself as it relates to number two as far as de developing an online presence. Are you going to YouTube to learn about how to create your LinkedIn profile? There are specific keys to making your LinkedIn profile pop where people are attracted, where people want to engage with you. Believe it or not, there's even certain ways you can create your LinkedIn profile that can help you to get a J-O-B, and I don't want to say that all the time, but ultimately position yourself for a career. Have you thought about that? Have you thought about the pictures? Have you thought about the headliner? Have you thought about the, the way you describe yourself? This is part of being a virtual student, because again, it's not just maximizing my collegiate experience, but it's positioning myself for career success. Have you created a digital resume? Or maybe let's go a step farther. Have you created a web page where you can send people to check out your qualifications and the work that you have done? The second thing, are you engaging digitally online? Are you engaging with people? Are you, are, are you, are you, are you uh, giving comments? Are you following people? Are you learning from people? Are you part of virtual communities? Not just your friends, profession and academically. And then last one, are you building and maintaining relationships? So incredibly important. I tell students all the time, and I'm still working at this. If you can reach out to five to 10 people digitally every five days a week 
for the rest of your collegiate experience, I'm telling you, you will have a career, you will have a job, and you will position yourself for success. Let me say it again. If you start today, someone say today. I had to yell at y'all. I want to yell. But today, you'll get off this, get off, when you get off this master, when you get off this program or you get off this, this, this speech, and you go to LinkedIn, create your LinkedIn profile, begin to build your LinkedIn, and then begin to connect with people that are doing what you want to do for the first year. You're building relationships with people in your industry, with people that are doing what you desire to do, with people that you admire, and you start reaching out. And you start building relationships over the next three to four years, I'm telling you, you will position yourself for career success. In the midst of a pandemic, you'll find yourself still having a job. And I can confidently say that because I know people that are getting jobs right now. I know people that are getting motive, that are getting promotions right now. I met a guy from LinkedIn right now. He said he hasn't put out a resume for 10 plus years, but he's always got new jobs based on the connections and people following him and seeing what he's doing. Second concept you got to ask yourself, if you're going to thrive and succeed as a virtual college student is not only do you want to be resourceful, but my question is, are you a digital maven? Are you a digital maven? Are you aware of complex platforms? And are you aware on how to specifically connect, maintain, and build relationships? And listen, one of the great ways you're going to be able to do that here at the Future Leaders Conference is you're going to have the opportunity to connect with people in this group, to connect with people that are attending the conference, to connect with Tish, to connect with me, to even connect with some of our speakers later today. You're gonna to have a chance to connect and you wanna connect and you wanna build those relationships because you never know who's gonna be the person that's gonna open up the next door for you in the future. You never know. Me and Tish have known each other for 20 years now, maybe 20 years now or getting close to 20 years. And literally the opportunities we've created for each other is because of our ability to network and maintain relationships. Although uh, for most of our friendship, we've never lived in the same city. So I close, the question you wanna ask yourself is what do I need to do in order to become more effective as what I call a digital maven? One more time, if you could say out loud, someone say digital maven.